Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is DC millivolt thermocouples. Okay, this is the standard thermocouple that you normally are seeing. Okay, it's a 30 millivolt thermocouple. Okay, this right here is a low mass thermocouple. Same thing, it's right around 30 millivolts DC. Okay, so um, if we wanted to test one of these out. We can go ahead and disconnect the thermocouple, turn our multimeter to V. In this case, we're going to hit the select button and we are going to go to DC voltage, which is the straight line. All right. And we're going to go ahead and put one clip on the end of the thermocouple and then the other one actually on the copper sheath on the outside right there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and heat this up, and we're going to see what our open voltage is, DC millivolts. So it should be somewhere between 20 and 30. Obviously, the flame from this can be a little hotter, depending on how close I put this. Um, if you had soot on something like this out in the field, um, then that would act like insulation for when you have the flame engulfing the rod. The other thing is you can check the actual flame and check the the head of the pilot tube, okay, and make sure that the flame actually is engulfing the thermocouple rod. Sometimes you can actually adjust the the uh, the pilot pressure too, all right, for the flame. Okay, you got to make sure that it is engulfing that. But we're going to go ahead and test that out right now. So as we heated that up, it created the DC millivolts. Right in front right here you see MV, okay? So you have an M right in front of the V, that's millivolts, and we are in DC voltage, okay? So that's how you measure, and with the flame consistency, whatever you have existing that's there with the flame, it should be able to produce 20 to 30 millivolts DC. If it's not producing that much when it's open, meaning it's not powering the gas valve, then the thermocouple is likely bad, okay? Uh, so you would have to disconnect to do this test. If it was connected and this part was actually connected to the gas valve, then what you do is you would take this part off right here and on the back of the gas valve a lot of times there's a little pin that you can read the voltage off of right there, okay? You leave this one on and then you read this one on the back pin on the back of the, uh, the, the gas valve, okay? Thermocouples are found in wall heaters and water heaters and older furnaces, all right? So there's still some out there, so you just want to make sure you know how to uh, diagnose them. Um, if it is connected to the manifold and the gas is open, meaning the gas is flowing through, you should normally read about 13 millivolts DC. If it's less than that, then that thermocouple, either the flame is not big enough the rod has soot on it, or the thermocouple is bad. All right, but uh, check with your manufacturer, you know, of, of the gas valve, and maybe they allow maybe something lower than that, like 11 or 12 millivolts DC, uh, just to confirm. All right, especially in the case of a low mass thermocouple. All right, some manufacturers accept a lower voltage from these. The the point of this low mass thermocouple is if you lose your pilot flame, okay, it will immediately kick out the DC millivolts going to the gas valve in order to close the main gas flow for the gas valve, okay? So this head, low mass, meaning there's not as much surface area uh, to keep the heat like this, like this rod right here has, okay? So you can tell the rod is a lot smaller, okay? So you find these, sometimes these will allow a little bit lower of a voltage, maybe even 10 millivolts DC, all right? Um, but if you read much lower than that, then the thermocouple will be bad, there's soot on the rod, or the flame might not be big enough. And sometimes you can actually adjust the flame height, you know, uh, or pressure at the gas valve. It just depends on what gas valve you're working on and what manufacturer. All right, so there's a quick overview of a standard thermocouple and a low mass thermocouple. 
I hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.